Welcome. In this episode, we are water cooling an AMD 5800X3D and an NVIDIA RTX 3090. We will build a custom loop using components from EKWB, Heat Killer, and Alpha Cool, and end with a leak test. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. The EK Quantum Velocity Squared is a CPU water block for the AMD AM4 socket platform. We use this to cool the CPU, and this version of the water block features a nickel-plated cold plate with an acrylic top piece. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D is an 8-core, 16-thread desktop processor with AMD 3D vCache technology. Let's drop it in this Asus B550 Strix motherboard. Let's add 32 gigabytes of Thermaltake's Tough RAM. Let's also add NVMe M.2 and then install the motherboard into our Fractal Meshify 2 compact case. We will be using two radiators from Heat Killer's Rad series. First, the Black 360L radiator has a thickness of 48 millimeters, and we are using three of Fantex T30s, as we have enough room in the front of the case to accommodate the fan's 30 millimeter thickness. The EK Quantum Kinetic FLT80 is a D5 pump reservoir combo unit, and is mounted directly to the radiator. The Heat Killer Rad and the T30s fit inside the front of the Fractal Meshify 2 compact case. We are vertically mounting the RTX 3090 with an Alpha Core Ace Block water block. Click on the link in the top right for a dedicated Alpha Core water block installation video for this card. In this build, we are using the EKWB EK Quantum Torque compression fittings for soft tubing in black nickel. Two compression fittings are required for each component in the loop. In this build, we have five components, the GPU, CPU, reservoir pump combo, and two radiators. So a total of 10 compression fittings. To cool the Heat Killer 240S radiator, we are using two of Noctua's NF-812 x 25 in black. In addition to the required fittings, there are numerous places in the custom loop where 90 degree, 45 degree, and or extender fittings are also used as primarily a convenience to have more movement allowed and leeway for the soft tubing. The soft tubing is installed by sliding the tube over the base fitting. The locking ring is then hand tightened. The radiator is mounted to the case's removable top bracket and dropped into place. Next, Part of the leak test is filling the loop entirely with coolant. In this build, we are using the ready-to-use Corsair Hydro-X Series XL8 performance coolant in clear. It starts with filling the reservoir with coolant and then turning on the power supply with only the pump connected. We turn off the pump once it pushes most of the water out of the reservoir and then add more coolant and repeat until the reservoir stays completely full. Now, we have a system that we can put under high computing load, whether it's maxing out the computer processor or graphics card, or both at the same time. And because of the custom loop, we can expect all the components to stay exceptionally cool, even while running the fans at a relatively low speed, making the system also exceptionally quiet. like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos, including one dedicated to the studio that produces this content. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.